Hey, what's going on you guys? Sir Burns a lot here with Team High Cloud and today I'm bringing you another video. That's right, two videos getting recorded in one day. Probably gonna upload on different days. Probably shouldn't have told you that. But anyway, back with another video. Um, the other one I was talking a little bit about Halo Wars 2 and what we're gonna be expecting and stuff. Talking about the controller a little bit. Um, trying to figure out how the controls are gonna be. If they're gonna do a cross-platform, how are they gonna make it fair for people with a controller and people with a mouse and keyboard without forcing one or the other to get different hardware or to use hardware they're comfortable with. Um, in this video we're going to talk a little bit more about RTS strategy in general. Um, stuff that you can use in any strategy game that you play but we'll relate it to Halo Wars. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of information and stuff, going into Halo Wars 2 you need to understand how the first game works and understand basic uh, mechanics and stuff with strategy games in general. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this new series. Um, pretty much the thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is going to be able to get you guys into the right mindset of how to play a strategy game, whether it's Halo Wars or StarCraft 2 or Command & Conquer or anything like that. A lot of the stuff I'm going to talk to you guys about is going to be stuff that you can relate to any of these strategy games. And the fiance is blowing my phone up. It'll be alright. Um, pretty much what you're going to look at, we're going to break it down into a couple of categories and I'll make some videos and stuff that specifically talk about each thing individually and we'll go from there and see what we can figure out and hopefully you guys will learn a little bit of something and that'll get you at least into the mid-level of uh, the community and you'll meet a lot of really cool people there. There's a good balance of people that are super try hard that are trying to learn the game and perfect it and a lot of people that are there to have fun but they still know plenty about the game. So what we're going to break it down to is a couple of key points. Um, first thing you need to do is figure out what game you want to play. Whether you're playing Halo Wars, StarCraft 2, um, Command and Conquer, Age of Empires, whatever you're looking to play. Um, what you're going to want to do is decide on what game you're going to uh, play and you're going to want to learn the game. And what I mean by learning the game is improve your game knowledge on things as far as what units count or what. Um, how long do units take to build? How long do structures take to build? And just little things like that, learning the maps where the, um, let's say we're relating it to Halo Wars, you know the maps, you know where the locations of the free bases are, you know where the rebel bases are, um, you know how long it takes to build a tank, how long does it take to build a supply pad, how long does it take to build an air pad or a summit. Um, how much does it take to build a reactor? How much do each of the units cost? What units are good against what? These are all things that you're going to want to take into consideration and these are things that you need to know before you try to get better at the game. If you just watch a bunch of high level videos and you see a bunch of people making warthogs against air, you're going to be sitting there confused like, I thought air beat vehicles, like why, how are they doing this with warthogs? But that comes with playing the game and knowing what beats what, knowing that warthogs are really cheap and quick to make and they counter air, they counter a lot of stuff, they do a lot of DPS. This is all stuff that you figure out while playing the game. So the best way to figure this out is to just hop into the game and start playing. Get some experience, get some stuff under your belt, play whatever game it is. If you're playing StarCraft 2, figure out what roaches do, figure out what hydras do, figure out what you know banshees do, figure out what um, hellbats do, like figure out what everything does. And once you figure out what everything does, what it's capable of doing, how fast they build, then you can go on to bigger and better things in the game. So basic stuff that you could look up like um, some of the biggest stuff in Halo Wars is building times. So your building time on a standard building, or a supply pad, a vehicle depot, a warehouse, your temple, stuff like that, it builds about 30 seconds. Not going to be nitpicky about stuff because it, I mean it, it's pretty much 30 seconds. Um, your summit, your iPad, those build in 45 seconds roughly. So knowing that there's a difference there, but you can figure out how long each building takes and when you figure out how long each building takes and you can go into build orders and stuff from their unit compositions and everything like that so the biggest thing that you guys need to look at when you're trying to get better at the, this game or any game is to just look at what you're trying to do look at your unit composition that you're trying to get out and then you can focus on a build from there but the first thing you have to do is know the game you have to know the specifics about a lot of the stuff and then you can go from there um, so just hop into a lobby with one of your buddies, test out some stuff, figure out what counters what, figure out how long it takes to build certain buildings, figure out how long it takes for you to build certain units, figure out how long your upgrades are, 
figure out how much everything costs, get a good knowledge of the game down, then you can start thinking builds from there. So um, let's say, for example, you know that um, Scorpion tanks tank, uh, they take about 30, 35 seconds to build. But you also know that you have to have tech two, and you also have to have supplies, that's a given. So you're not gonna pick up enough supplies that you're not gonna build supply pads. So you know that you have to build at least a couple of supply pads. But you're not really sure how many that you'll need to sustain an army. So let's say you're gonna build two supply pads, a reactor, a second reactor, a vehicle depot. Each of those buildings takes 30 seconds to build. And then you get to your vehicle depot and you can start making your units. So you've got two react or uh, your two supply pads, two reactors, and a vehicle depot. And that'll put you on five buildings. You can start building a tank from there. Um, and since each one is 30 seconds, you're looking at about two and a half minutes, you're starting to build your first tank. And if a tank takes 35 seconds to build, you're looking at three minutes and five seconds that your first tank is popping out, which is awesome. But with two supply pads, you're not really gonna be able to do a whole lot other than single pump tanks. So, Let's say that you're trying to get out the earliest tank that you can and you're trying to get this thing out super quick and you're gonna pelican it over and you're just gonna attack them with this tank. And you're gonna be like, oh, fuck you, I got a tank. If that's your strategy, go for it. But know that from there, you're only gonna have those two supply pads. You're not gonna be able to produce anything other than just single pumping tanks. You won't be able to have enough money to upgrade your base. You're definitely not gonna be able to upgrade a reactor to get tech three to get candy and you're not gonna be able to do anything, really. You're just gonna be able to single pump tanks and eventually you're gonna gas out on that because you're, I think with two heavy supply pads, you still would have to pick up a good amount of money to be able to continue a single pump uh, tanks on a station. Nobody does that because it's terrible. But if that's your strategy, you gotta look at it and see what you can do with it. So you'll be able to have a tank out in three minutes and five seconds. That's a quick fucking tank. You'll have to get clicked if you wanna get a tank out quicker than that. So, then you go into stuff you're like hmm i still want a quick tank um i don't want to wait until i'm on the second base or anything like that so maybe i'll do three supply pads because that'll give me a little bit of extra money right and then i'll go for two reactors but now i gotta upgrade my base do i really want to do that why not so let's say you upgrade your base you go three supply pads you go for a reactor or reactor upgrade your base you have two free building slots you go for your vehicle depot sixth six buildings 30 seconds a piece you're looking at three minutes. Build your first tank. 335 is when your first tank can pop out if you play it perfectly. Okay? So let's say 335, you're popping out your first tank. All right, that's pretty cool. You're popping out a tank. You build another supply pad, whatever you're going to do. And that'll give you four supply pads, two reactors, and a vehicle depot, which is pretty standard on a single base. If you decide that you want to do something different than that, if you're cool with having a higher eco early on and you're wanting to maybe upgrade one of your reactors to get a um, to get your canister shell and get a tank or whatever, then you can do stuff like that. You go for supply pads, a reactor, upgrade your base, another reactor, vehicle depot. That's seven buildings. You're looking at about three and a half minutes. And then a tank rolls out at 405. Not wrong with that. Let's say you go for five pads, then a reactor, wait a minute, upgrade your reactor, then go for a VD. So you're looking at about four minutes at that point, you build a tank, but you've got five heavy pads. That's awesome. Let's say let's say we're playing as Forge. We're playing as Forge, for the because new players play with Forge. A lot of the new guys play with Forge, because it's easy. You get the five pads, you get an upgraded reactor, you start building tanks off of it, then you're like, oh shit, well, I wanna go for Cancer Shock, I got all this money to do all the stuff. If you can't do anything with that money, it's kind of useless, right? So you'll take your first tank over, clear base, buy the base, put a reactor up, get your third tech, get canny, get another vehicle depot up, start double pumping, you're good to go. But in the meantime, if they have warthogs on your side of the map and you don't have a tank out yet, they kill your vehicle depot and you're fucked. So it just kind of depends on what you're wanting to do. What is your strategy? What are you trying to go for? Are you trying to go for early tanks or are you going to play a macro game? Are you gonna to try to make more money than the other person, use defender's advantage to win the game? Or are you gonna go off and try to, you know, carpet bomb their base down? I mean, what are you gonna do? So, for you to be able to figure out what you're gonna do, you need to have solid, solid game knowledge. And I'm not talking about, oh, I know what a Warthog does, or oh, I know what a Spartan does. You need to know how much they cost, how long do they take to build, how long do the buildings take to build, all the cool stuff like that. Once you figure that out, we can start talking about builds. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here.
as a recap, just get your game knowledge down and come back for the next video and we'll talk a little bit more about what you can do once you figure out what the units do, how much they cost, what counters what, and we'll go from there. All right, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video. You guys take it easy and have a great day. Yeah.